Hello everyone, this is Johnny. Welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This video is going to continue my Guardian version 11.2 lab. In previous video we already installed a Guardian character 192.168.2.14 and we have 192.168.2.15 for our MSQL MySQL database installed on the Windows 2016 server. Um, in the IBM Guardian web GUI, you can see the S tab has been uh, installed on our database server. This uh, inspection engines have found out the MS SQL database 1433 port, MySQL on 336 port, and MS SQL on 1434 port, those ports. This lab, this video is going to show you um, how we can confirm our S tab is capturing the MS SQL and the MySQL traffic or like statement on our IBM Guardian. There's some settings we have to first thing is the, the data security policy we need to have there. We have to set up our security policy. So right now I'm using the 51 seek allow all the policy which is uh, based on ex uh, existing policy template. This is allow all. You can create your own policy by duplicate existing policy by clicking duplicate icon and you just Provide a name. For example, 51 sec, allow all. You can choose a category. So this is will be for the access. And choose access category. And for the lures, you don't have to do anything. You just then you just need to save it. That will be saved in your here just like I did here. So once you did that you need to install a policy um, just by clicking install button and you can install policy and replace in the existing default ignore data activity for all now connections. So once you finish your installation guardian this will be your default data security policy. You can install your own policy to replace that one. That's the first step, you create a policy and then you install a policy. The second step, you need to create a query. So you need to go to the custom query report builder. Or you can use in custom access report here to build your customized access query report. Add a new one here. For SQL logs. It will be for SQL related. And the next. So we're gonna choose some entities and attributes. For example, the client IP. DB protocol you can put server IP server OS Timestamp, that's important. We need to find out our SQL statement, which is you need a SQL, SQL. That's good to start. And the next, next, and then we're going to save it. Okay, query saved successfully. 
Okay, our next step is going to my dashboard, create your new dashboard, and then add a report. The report we just created, the query report. Okay, we add it. So that's going to show us all information we will need and also the SQL statement here, which we want to see from our MS SQL database. Let's uh, open our SQL database and we do some query, we create a new database and see if we can find out a lot of SQL statement in uh, logs. So that will confirm our S tab is monitoring the SQL traffic. So we're going to create a new database. We're going to call it test db ms sql db1. We're going to create a table for that. Uh, we're going to put some columns with state types. And then we're going to save it. Uh, table name, name going to automatically name the table on score one. And then we're going to run some query. We are on temp MS SQL DB1. Um, we're going to select everything from table 1, which we just created. And we're going to run it. There's no record, but we can see the column field is C1, C2, C3. That's exactly what we did. And we were trying to go back here and then a general report for that. So let's put down uh, 10 minutes. From now to 10 minutes, we're going to generate um, the logs. We may can go back to customize our report because we didn't see our database name, which is important to us. So we're going to go back to customize our query again. We're going to find out the uh, database. Okay, db, db. db username, db protocol, server name, timestamp. Let's do some filter. So we have db username, db name, so db username, db names, okay. So then we can save it again. Saved, go back to our dashboard. Okay, it's already refreshed. So you will see D 
db user administrator you will see sql server and the uh, database name here as well um so let's do this we're going to export it and open it in excel so we're going to find out our sql statement here so we did um, select star from table one yeah we found it it's the uh, last the uh, sql statement we issued so that's basically confirmed our as tab is monitoring uh, our ms sql database traffic that's all for this video thank you for watching Thank you.